when we talk of mental health, it encapsulates emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It refers to what you feel, how you feel them, the interpretation of what happens to you or what does not happen to you, and how it propels us into one form of action or the other, and sometimes our inactions. You see, everyone is at some risk of developing mental health disorder, regardless of your age, your sex, your income, or ethnicity. Mental health can be affected at any stage in life. It could be when you're young or when you're old. Sometimes, a child's environment can determine the child's worldview. Social and financial circumstances, adverse childhood experiences, biological factors, and underlying medical conditions can shape in a person's mental health. Whichever way you want to look at it, in as much as it affects the entirety of a person's life, with or without those around, which is born out of an uninformed conscience, it is said that the person suffers from mental health disorder. Now, we aren't here to only talk on mental health, but here to take action on it, which is why we created a website called Puhama, meaning public orientation about mental hydration. We found, what, a lot of you might ask the question, what led to Puhama? We found that in Nigeria, we don't really have um, access to medic, mental health services. Can you believe in an entire country, there are only two places where you can get mental health services, which is why we created this website, which will be accessible to everyone, everyone here, everyone, everyone in Nigeria, and hopefully everyone in the world. A lot of you may ask, what is this website for? What does it hope to do? Well, we have a lot of objectives, but I'm going to mention two. One is to save the world one mind at a time. We believe that once you are mentally stable, you can do things, you can eat healthy. You've heard about your diet, but how can you do that if you are not mentally stable? You've heard about reusing things, but how can you do that when you don't have a positive mindset? So we believe that saving the, the world one mind at a time can actually help boost the world's population. Another is, we want to show the world that mental disorder is not a stigma, but a normal process of life. Every single person here is prone to mental disorder. And we want to change people's mindset that mental disorder is not something you should mock or laugh at. It's something you should try to understand. Whenever you see someone that is usually lively, we have those kinds of people in our neighborhood around us, and the person suddenly came, comes someday, full black no makeup, all this phase. Of course, you know something is wrong. That's why you need to actually understand the person. Don't mock the person that, oh my goodness, this person is not making sense. This, this person is having a mental disorder. Another speaker came here today that his parents came and he liked drawing. A lot of people made fun of him. Assuming he didn't actually feel fulfilled, assuming those people in the university didn't show him that, yes, what you are doing is a gift, it's a nice gift, you can help the world, I'm pretty sure it won't be here speaking up to us today. We hope that this mental, this our websites will get to everyone and it can be accessible through our phones since most teenagers, our main target is the use. Most, teenager have, most teenagers have their phones which can be easily accessible to them. Well, adolescents suffering from mental health disorder are particularly vulnerable to social exclusions, drug addictions, isolations, and so on. But it is very important to take note of the mental health. You see, depression has been estimated to occur among teenagers, which, are, which age, ages are ranged from 10 to 14 years of age, and this is 1.1% and 2.8% of the teenagers aged 15 to 19 years of age. We turn people that have depression as isolated, sick, withdrawn, tearful, or crying. Sometimes we even refer to them as weary, like the Yorubas who call it. But many adolescents' depressive expressions are very different. Most adolescents' depressive expressions could include talking back, defiance, acting up, aggression, and in worse scenarios, the thought of suicide and actually exhibiting suicide. I mean, I can't imagine myself being a teenager, placing cold metal very close to my skull and blasting it off all in the name of mental health disorder. But this is what is happening. This is what is rampant. Many adolescents engage in different things that, it's, that, can't, that you yourself can't even comprehend because it is absurd. You see, Nigerian government has gone far as banning sniper, which had been found to be very rampant among these people that they use in exhibiting this, this disgusting act. 
Many um, generalized anxiety, excessive um, worry about everyday life. I mean, being insecure among your peers. These are the things that teenagers experience. It is very sad that suicide is now rampant among youths. I mean, youths that are meant to be energetic, youths that are meant to be vibrant, youths that are meant to change things in the society, but are every day being weighed down by the things of life, by things they are not even supposed to be worried about, but they end up taking up their lives. I mean, taking their lives. But put now, come, come, come down to our level. Put yourself in a teenager's shoes where he or she gets insulted at school every day because he or she does not know how to assimilate properly like the rest. Imagine parents insulting their children because they don't know how to do some things the way they want it. Imagine a boy child when he's with his friends that have PlayStations, but keep telling his mother or father to get him one. But fine, they are not buoyant enough to get it, but do, do they really present it to him? Do they really present it to him in a way he would understand? Or the, the next thing they do is just insult him, tell him things that are not even so, that the child should not even hear at that age. Put yourself in, in a girl's shoes where, because let's say maybe she has been raped or something bad has happened, but people in the society are not willing to help, but just keep on stigmatizing. This is why you need to check mental health. It is very important to pull the younger generation headlong out of the dungeon of mental health annihilation. And this needs to be done without further delay. I'd like to ask a few questions. I, these questions don't require answers. They just need to be thought about. How many of you here said to your younger ones, or even parents said to their kids that I love you before coming here this morning? How many of you made your kids feel special, your younger ones? Okay, enough of this fantasy parenting. How many of you shout, or even to an extent, beat your younger ones or kids just because they get on your nerves? How many of you, you talk about your children? How many of you compare your kids to others that whenever your kid is actually doing something that is beneficial for him or her, you actually compare him to another kid that is next door? You are all wondering, why all these questions? We want to see how much parents in Nigeria care about their children's health mentally. Let we all focus on the physical aspect of health, which is why we have all these tips. Have a healthy diet, brush daily, bath daily, keep clean clothes, keep clean rooms. But most of us don't really pay attention to our mental health. Let's listen to this short story. I know of a girl, she came to me and said she needed to talk to me, and I agreed. While the conversation was in session, the girl suddenly said, and stayed you, I wish my mom was like you, then I can tell her everything. Do we know that statement? Then I can tell her everything, if a mom is like me. Which means as a teenager, there are some things I know of this girl and the mother isn't aware of. What came about this? There is only one answer, which is negligence. And it's not a matter of physical or social needs. Because the girl we're speaking of is very pretty and beautiful and even well kept. But on another part is that when she was, even social needs, she's very well mannered and polite. A quick look at her, you even think she's the perfect child. But one thing is missing, a mentality, which was an absolute zero. Sometimes when parents give their kids attention, believe me, you will start a whole new experience of parenting. You would even not, you would even be surprised to see your kid like that. Permit me to use this example. If God was a strict parent for every sin we commit, thunder strike. Do you think all of us would actually go to church and be like, God, please give me anything? Many of us would be shivering. Many kids are like that. They can't tell their parents anything, which is why they go to friends. Friends give them bad advice and they become rogues in the streets. We want parents to stop treating us like as if we are, to stop treating their kids like as if they are their creation. We want them to take them as their friends. There are some times when you come up from work, you are stressed and tired. Don't just shout on your kids. Don't just shout on them. Take them as your friends. Try to keep a happy smile, a happy smile just for them. We want to implore parents to actually take care of their kids' health mentally. Another sad part is that most people believe that the people on the streets that are mad, that are roaming about, uh, you know, they're supposed to be left just like that. But uh, I put it to you today that the flamboyantly dressed, 
that you see in offices are even worse than the people on the streets because it is very possible that you take these smart people to psychiatrists and they get treated. But how do you know anything wrong with somebody so perfectly dressed, looking very nice and vibrant? This is why we have come here today to tell everybody, to make you understand why it is very important to take care of your mental health. Now, I want everybody to place their hands very close to their chest and repeat after me. I promise to take care of my mental health. I promise to take care of my mental health. And do everything to make myself happy. And do everything to make myself happy. Now, for every kid, for every thing, for every couple, for everyone here, we have the following four tips for you. Try smiling in any situation. It brightens your mind. Relax whenever you can. Do stuff that make you happy. Mental health is very important. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>